I am Dr. Chuck Betters. Physical limitations are something very difficult for most of us to deal with, but serious or chronic medical complications can become life-changing. Someone says, I suffer from chronic fatigue. Now, I know people who have suffered from chronic fatigue, and it is a very, very difficult condition to have. And I'm exhausted all of the time. I'm only in my 40s, but I feel like I'm wasting my life. I spend most of my time resting, and a few things I, the few things I am able to do uh, during the day, I spend most of that time thinking about how soon I can go back to bed. It makes me so sad. How can I still make my life meaningful instead of just a waste? About uh, two years ago, almost two years ago, um, I had to undergo some pretty serious brain surgery and it didn't go well. The complications that came from the surgery uh, are complications that I still face even today. But I remember when I was in recovery and then in rehab following the recovery, I was so exhausted. The only thing I could think of was going back to bed, but I was in therapy, rehabilitation, and the rehab people would come in and I, I dreaded the moment that they would come in and tell me that I had to get out of bed. And I kept thinking to myself, I know I'm going to get better. I know I'm going to eventually get stronger so that I don't feel the way that I feel right now. So I can't imagine what it would be like to live with that every single day of your life. And I was able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I watched as every day I got a little bit stronger, just minuscule steps at a time, stronger and stronger and stronger to the point where I could function again. But there are some, like the one who wrote this question, who suffer with syndromes that are extremely difficult to overcome and many of them never do. And so the question becomes, if I am called upon to serve the Lord, how can I serve him when the only thing I can think about is how tired I am? how difficult it is for me to function day in and day out. So having experienced a little bit of that in my own journey, I can't even begin to imagine what it must be like to live with that day in and day out. However, the Apostle Paul in um, 2 Thessalonians uh, chapter 2, he speaks to us of the need for us to uh, not grow weary in well-doing. He says, now may the Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father who loved us and gave us eternal comfort and good hope through grace, comfort your hearts and establish them in every good work and every good deed. And then in the next chapter, chapter three in verse 13, he says, as for you brothers, do not grow weary in doing good, 2 Thessalonians 3, 13. Do not grow weary in doing good. Your station of life requires that your body's telling you that you cannot function in a way that those of us who maybe have more normality to our lives function. So you have to figure out how do I use my condition to do good to others, to serve others, to be used of God even here in my bed. When I first went into the ministry, there was an old Methodist pastor who came to church every single week. He was retired. And um, he was someone I never saw his wife. And I, so I asked him if he, was a, if he was actually a widower. And he said, no, he says, I care for my wife. She's bedridden. She was in her bed for almost 25 years and he cared for her for all of those 25 years. He had to change her. He had to move her. He had to feed her. He had to carry her from one place to another. And that became the reason why he retired from the ministry to care for his wife. Now I've got to tell you, that man's reputation and that man's testimony in the quietness of that bedroom, hidden away from everybody else, ministering to his wife, the way he was ministering to her as a caregiver, not receiving accolades for it, not receiving praise, 
became a living, viable testimony of God's amazing grace. And I would say to you, even with chronic fatigue syndrome, there is a way in which you can pray for people. You can, you can read the scriptures. You can have the scriptures read to you. You can uh, meet with people who maybe are younger and have uh, an opportunity to make important decisions where you can encourage them. You can be an encourager from your bedroom. Now it will exhaust you. You will be tired. But Paul says, don't be weary in well-doing. In other words, there are a variety of ways in which you can use your weakened condition and use the uh, medical condition that God has entrusted to your care. God gives us grace to handle those situations because he's entrusted us with that particular illness for a purpose. And that is to bring honor and glory to him. So you may not be able to do the things that other people do. You may not be able to be the witness out in the public the way that other people are. You may not be able to serve the Lord uh, with church functions and all those other things that we do that expend a lot of energy. But with what limited energy you have, you can pray, you can counsel, you can encourage, and you can use your bed as a platform for God's grace to be ministered to other people through you as his conduit of spiritual power. I hope this helps.